Hi guys, today we are going to configure and wire the Anycubic E3 Mega filament runout sensor for the new SKR 1.4 board turbo which we installed in my previous video. Therefore, we need the filament runout sensor, a screw, a screwdriver, and the Anycubic. Let's start by taking the Anycubic apart. After we've disassembled the back cover of the Anycubic E3 Mega, we need to connect the last brown wire which was left over from my last wiring video to the SKR 1.4 board. Therefore, just connect the last wire, the last brown wire, to the E0 DET uh, signal pin, which I'm gonna show here, and the hub here. Just connect the brown wire to the SKR board. It's just easy going and that's all after that you can assemble the black plate again and now we're going to do the modern configuration the first thing you're going to do is you need to have my modern configuration so please watch my modern configuration video to set up modern for the anycube e3 mega for the skr 1.4 board which I'm going to link in the top right corner. After that, or when you already have the configuration set, you can open the configuration.h, go to line 1169 and comment the filament runout sensor in. After that, we're going to need to configure our filament runout pin, which is described here. So just save the configuration.h after you've commented in the filament runout sensor, switch to the pins BTT SKR1 version 1.4 and oh, it's already configured. So we don't need to do anything more. The filament runout pin is already configured to our E0 DET, which we connected our brown cable to. So basically this is all. Now you need to build your firmware. You can do it by platforming your here build all or I'm gonna do it over the terminal and then you need to flash the firmware.bin to the Anycubic E3 Mega that's what I'm going to do now after you've successfully flashed the Anycubic you can heat up your hot end and try to extract some filament but don't forget to not put filament into the sensor so you test it if you can extract still filament without putting filament into the sensor. If you get an error, try to put some filament into the sensor and extract it again. If you've now got no error, the filament sensor is working. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up.